So first of all, we can record proxies in our camera. And how great is that? Because that means that you don't need to uh, put your proxies in a special program and to encode them, make them smaller and wait for hours and hours. So we don't need to do that anymore. We just create the proxy straight in the camera and then we uh, put them into Premiere and start editing. How great is that? And I'm gonna show you now how to do it and I'm gonna solve a problem for you, what I had on the PC. All right, so let's dive into it. So we have our clips right here. I recorded these three clips, 4K clips, and where can you find your proxy folder? It is the subfolder and here you have your proxy files. All right, pretty easy guys. So let's import these clips into Premiere. All right, so we have our clips and now we want to attach our proxy clip so we can work really fast. There is a way to do it. Uh, you're gonna click on the clip, right click. You're gonna go and search for proxy, attach a proxy. And then in here, you can uh, select attach. And then you're gonna search for the right proxy number so it is in your subfolder and then you select uh, the right clip so this is uh, my proxy clip select it and it's done you are working now with a proxy in premiere pro pretty fast but there is one problem because when you have multiple clips let's say you have like you should like shot shot for like seven days i don't know 200 300 clips even more and you want to select them all at once. It is not possible. So this is what I mean. So let's say these are my clips. I'm gonna select them, right click, attach proxy. And then you see you can't attach all of these uh, proxies. That's not possible. So normally if you attach one proxy, Premiere recognize that these are all proxies and he will automatically attach the rest of the proxies. But in this case, I don't know what happened, but it doesn't work. So I watched tutorials and there was a guy who explained it very well. He solved the problem for me, almost solved the problem for me because he was a Mac user and I'm a PC user and uh, yeah, a few things work a bit different. So the guy said, you need to change the last three numbers of your proxy file. So if you go to your proxy file, your subfile, these are the proxies, proxies, you need to change the last three numbers. So SO3 and replace it and write down proxy. And then it, the problem is solved. So I was quite happy and I tried to do it, but in the PC, it is just not possible to change the last three numbers for all of these clips. And I don't want to do it one at a time. So I went on Google and I found a really cool software. It is free. Let me see. Bulk rename. So you type in bulk rename utility and then you can download it for free it is really cool the first look uh, first it looks a bit overwhelmed here you see it but it is really easy to use and very helpful as well so let's go to the software because we want to change the last three numbers so we're going to select all of our proxy clips right click we want to rename it with the software that we just downloaded and in here you want to change you want to remove the last number so the last three numbers and you want to replace them suffix into underscore proxy oh oh come on come on proxy and you see I just changed the last three numbers oh uh, yeah into proxy <laughs> now it needs to work yes okay then you want to refresh your subfolder and you will see that you change 
the last three names of your clips, of your proxy clips. Pretty easy. So now Premiere needs to recognize these clips and he needs to attach all of the other uh, proxies to all the files who you have imported in Premiere. So let's do that. Select them, right click, go to proxy, attach the proxy. And now we want to attach our search one proxy in the subfolder. All right, so double click. And now he's locating media. And there you go. You have now attached all of the proxies to all of the clips. All right, one last thing that you want to do before you start working with these clips is you want to click on the plus icon and you want to import the toggle proxy icon. And you always want to enable this proxy um, toggle when you are working with your proxies, of course. <laughs> All right? So guys, pretty easy, pretty cool stuff. I hope you liked it. Um, if you think this is very helpful for you, please subscribe, like, and give me a comment. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.